So the thing is, I was part of a team of three Python developers collaborating with a US-based company to build REST APIs. My role involved creating and testing the APIs to ensure seamless functionality. Initially, I turned to Thunder Client and VS Code for API testing, but its free version was too limited, with key features locked behind a paywall. Looking for a free alternative, I discovered Echo API. It turned out to be a fantastic tool for testing and debugging APIs. It worked perfectly for my needs, and I was able to complete the task without any hassle. I started using Echo API because it's free to get started, supports offline API testing, and doesn't require a login. Just open it and start testing APIs. It also supports Postman script syntax, local storage, and team collaboration. Another reason is that I can run collections without any limit. Let's take a quick look. We just need to select a collection containing requests, and then it brings up this interface. Here, a bunch of options are available, like setting the number of iterations for executing each request and the interval between requests. We can also upload a file containing test data, and from here, we can choose an environment. Click here to run the test. Once the test is completed, stats and test summary will appear. And if we click on any request, we can see a detailed report of the execution. We can even access the history from here. Let's take a quick tour. First, you need to install it. Search for Echo API from extensions and install it. A logo will appear in the sidebar to access the UI. The UI is very simple. We can start testing APIs right away. And from here, we can test SSE requests, create folders, test APIs using curl, and import the data from Postman. Here we have demo APIs too, but I am gonna test these routes. According to this code, we need to generate an auth token, so I'm creating a folder and inside it, creating a request. If we send a request to this route, we'll get our token. Next, I am creating a new request. Before sending a request to this route, we need to pass the generated token. Here, a bunch of options are available, but we need this one. Next, we need to send some data with the request. Upon sending the request, we can see a successful response here. Now, I am creating some more records one by one. Similarly, I'm gonna test all the routes. First, getting the list of all records. Next, updating the record based on the ID. And finally, deleting a record based on the ID. We can debug APIs too by utilizing custom scripts and assertions, extracting variables for dynamic testing, and simulating delays in API execution. Let's perform simple debugging. I'm going to set an assertion for the response code equal to 200 and deliberately make a mistake in the request. After sending the request, we get this response, and if we look at the assertion, it failed. Similarly, you can perform complex debugging using scripts, assertions, and other methods. And yeah, one more thing, we can set the environment variables from here. Click here to create a new environment, name it, and then set the variable name and its value. We can set global variables and parameters too from this section. Feel free to explore more features like team collaboration and data storage. But first, you will need to sign up, and then you can sync your data and collaborate with fellow developers by inviting them using URL on the Echo API web app or desktop app. I guess that's it. Give it a try and thank you for watching and comment what you think about it.